Hey guys, how's it going? It's me. Obviously things, at the time of this recording at least, are very strange and up in the air. So I've been kind of looking for something to pass the time. Figured doing a little at-home fun video would be a good way for, you know, both me to pass the time and maybe hopefully get something for you guys to watch. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy. We're doing the Cheesecake Factory at-home ice creams. And I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a Q&A with you guys. So, let's go. Alright, so for round one, we have the original Cheesecake Factory ice cream. Um, there's going to be cheesecake blended into all of these flavors, which will be really interesting. Um, and in the meantime, Amy K wants to know... Do I prefer pancakes or waffles? Well, for starters, um, you can do more with waffles. Uh, you can put more, more sandwiches, more thing, toppings on them, more anything, really. And well, yes, you can put M&Ms in pancakes. Waffle House is better than IHOP. And those Belgium waffles I had like five years ago in Belgium were a game changer. If the waffles are made correctly and they're waffles with dough and not just like batter, then it's an A+. Plus I have a video that's like devoted to half, half waffles from KFC. In the meantime, the ice cream, I'm trying to get it all in one scoop so I can share it with roommates later. I'll be using new spoons every time. Ooh. The ice cream is a very rich, wow, pure cheesecake, but very good. Very delicate, a lot of vanilla in there. I give it a B plus, just because I don't know what the rest of them are gonna be like. Um, but it's solid, it's, it's very cheesecakey, not a lot to overwhelm it or to Substitute with that. So B plus. All right, so for round two, we have strawberry and Cassie wants to know what came first, the chicken or the egg? How in the H-E double hockey stick am I supposed to know that one? Come on, Cassie. I wasn't there. Cook them both correctly and they can both be delicious. That's really all that matters, right? Speaking of delicious, I hope the strawberry one's delicious. Hmm. Just your standard strawberry ice cream. I really can't even taste the cheesecake flavor. Which is weird, you can see their actual cheesecake bits in the ice creams. And I think it's supposed to be like a strawberry cheesecake ice cream, but I can't really taste the cheesecake. It's actually not quite as good as the original. I'm gonna give it a solid B. It's good though. Round three, we have cookies and cream. And Travis wants to know who has the best shake. In-N-Out, Shake Shack, Wendy's, or Chick-fil-A? I'll throw out Wendy's because Wendy's is kind of trash. Um, shake Shack has the best shake, but you're paying more for it. Um, overall, the restaurant at Shake Shack is better than Chick-fil-A or In-N-Out. Um, pretty straightforward in my mind, but the pricing is different. You're going to pay more for it, but you're getting for what you pay for. Um, Shake Shack is a good quality overall meal for almost twice as much as Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out are, but I would say it's twice as good. So it just depends on what you're looking for and what your price point is. Ooh. Oh, man. This is good. This is rich. And I like how the cookies blend with the cheesecake. It really tastes like a cookies and cream cheesecake, even less so than an ice cream. Um, usually with cookies and cream, it tastes a little uh, 
tacky, or I don't even want to say it, maybe childish, like in the sense that it's just all cookie and vanilla. This is a more sophisticated cookies and cream. This is the best one by far. A minus. Solid though, I like it. All right, next up we have salted caramel and Karen, my aunt, wants to know, what is the right way to cook a steak? Medium to medium rare, period. There's no, no debating that. Listen, if someone told me they like it rare, I get it, I'll respect it, but it is a little bit chewy at that point. If anybody tells you they like their steak medium well or well done, then they shouldn't be ordering steak. You're just cooking out all the flavor. You're basically burning it till it gets rubbery. If you don't want a little bit of blood in your meat, then you should get chicken or poultry, any poultry actually, to be quite honest, or even pork. And I say this because at Karen, last time I had a steak at your house, it was cooked medium well. But I still love you. It's for the salted caramel ice cream. Not a big caramel fan. And I feel a bit overwhelmed by the caramel in this. All of these are good. I expected all of these to be good. I think so far this one's my least favorite. It's not something I would buy again. Um, a little too caramely, a little too much salted caramel for my taste. I'm going to give it a C plus, um, but it's still good. I mean, it's, it's, if you like salted caramel, you will probably like this ice cream. So next up, we have birthday cake. And Katie wants to know, what is the best white claw flavor to go with emergency? First off, get help. Second off, probably a lime or a lemon. Now I kind of want to know, I want to try it, but lime and lemon white claw, they're kind of subtle. They don't overpower the white claw. It, they're kind of refreshing. Mix, mixing other citrus flavors in it, I think would be a good try or a good attempt. So I'm going to go with lime or lemon, lemon being the first choice. As far as the birthday cake ice cream, I'm excited because you can see actual sprinkles in this ice cream. And I think the cheesecake bits are like different colors. Ooh, too much. Way too sweet. Way too sweet and not enough richness for Cheesecake Factory. I give this one a C minus. I don't like it. I mean, I don't love it. I mean, I, I, if it was in my fridge, I might eat it. Way too much frosting flavor for me. Way too much sugar flavor. Uh, I generally like birthday cake flavor, but it's very hard to do without getting that extra frosting or overpowering of sugar flavor. I would take another bite of it, but like I said, I'm trying to use one spoon per and not double dip so I can share these later. So overall, that one was just... Yeah, you know, it's kind of the bottom of the barrel right now. I'll be, be brutally honest. All right, so we have two more rounds to go. In this next round, we have Key Lime. And Miguel wants to know, cold cake or warm cake? Oh, I forgot to grab a spoon. One second. Anyway, Miguel, the answer to that is... Yes, cake. You should appreciate cake when it's warm and freshly out of the oven because of the rarity of it. And yes, it's pretty darn good. But B, you should be enjoying and appreciating cake when it's cold and leftovers and it pairs well with ice cream. You can even freeze it. Listen, cake is cake. Don't get too picky with it. Don't overthink this. And on a side note, key lime is the one that I had the highest hopes for. Um, I love citrusy desserts, 
So I'm taking a little bit of an extra big scoop of it. So let's see, let's see how this goes. Rich, a little biased, but ooh, and that cheesecake flavor at the end is solid. This is the mo definitely the most decadent and the richest one of all of them. I think I'm gonna give it a solid A, just because of what it does. Now, there's no way I could eat a lot of this in a sitting. Like, I'm starting to get sugared out as it is, just this being my sixth bite um, of ice cream in general. But overall, I'm not, I'm not completely blown away. I think I said I'm giving it an I can't remember if I said I'm giving it an A or minus. I'm giving it an A minus for sure. That's 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 the verdict. Little bit. I should have known these are gonna be strong. We'll give it an A. I'll give it an A. I'll give I'll give the key lime an A. Maybe a little bit of bias is in there, but to be brutally honest, it it is a good ice cream. Um, like I said, I can't eat a lot of it because it is very rich. But. That's what I should expect from Cheesecake Factory, right? All right, so for the final round, we have chocolate, basic, but always effective chocolate ice cream. And Jared wants to know if pineapple belongs on pizza. No. And for one reason, one reason only. Gordon Ramsay said it doesn't belong on a pizza. And whatever Gordon says goes. That, and here's my main thing against pineapple on a pizza. Those who love pineapple on pizza like to pair it with ham, which is one of the most boring pizza top, toppings there is. If they had tried to pair it with bacon or jalapenos or something a little bit more badass, I'd respect it more. But ham and pineapple, no. Just boring and kind of weird. Gordon Ramsay says pineapple doesn't go on a pizza. And my mother, who lived in Hawaii for 10 years, said that only tourists ordered pineapple on pizza. So, no, pineapple does not go on pizza. On a side note, for this chocolate cheesecake ice cream, the bits of cheesecake in it are actually like chocolate cheesecake. And that is a lot of chocolate. That is a lot of chocolate. It's good though. Another B plus. No, I'm gonna give it an A minus. It deserves an A minus. I think a lot of people will like this. The more I taste it, very rich. The cheesecake flavor is subtle. This isn't my favorite, but I think a lot of a lot of people will like it more. Yep, so that's the verdict. That's the verdict. I'll put a little scoreboard here at the end because I don't remember everything that I wrote down or that I put down for the grades. But to answer all of your questions, uh, yeah, no, pineapple doesn't go on a pizza. Waffles are better than pancakes. Medium to medium rare steaks, no, nothing else. Um... Shake Shout's always better. Shake Shack is always better. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay safe out there. And make sure you share this around with some of your friends. I'd love to get some more subscribers. I'd like to get these videos out during this kind of a weird time just to give something for somebody to watch and something to do. Uh, so just make sure to share it around and stay safe. And if you have any suggestions for videos, Leave them in the comments, please. Thank you guys, and have a good one.